One small correction uh, before you listen to me talk about this flute. Uh, I wrongly was thinking that this flute was at 415 and 440, but it's really at a 430 classical pitch and 440. So if I refer to 415, I'm really meaning 430. Thank you. Today I'd like to play a short demonstration of a beautiful uh, August Grenzer copy by Martin Venner. The Grenzer models are a, really a fantastic flute. Um, makers these days, like Martin Venner and other expert makers, really know how to make these flutes work extremely well, as the originals also do work extremely well. One of the uh, things that I always like about the Grenzer model is that it does work actually quite well at both 415 and 440, or 430 if you have a joint for that in, in the middle. Often with flutes that work well at 415, they don't feel so good at 440 or vice versa. But the Grenzer model actually works very well at both. This flute also has a feature with the adjustable foot, which makes it possible to adjust the length of the foot so you can adjust the tuning of the low D. And this becomes important mostly when you're changing the length of the flute, then you might want to make some adjustment down here. Uh, but it's a very beautiful flute. Uh, for examples today, I'm playing a couple of movements of a sonata by Wendling, who was a famous flutist uh, at the time of Mozart, both uh, a virtuoso flutist and uh, quite a good composer of flute music, and um, ending with a sonata by a composer that I really don't know anything about named Ranish, but it works very beautifully on this type of flute. The Ranish movement, which is an adagio, I play first at 415 and then I play it again using the shorter joint. I hope you enjoy this. <laughs> 